Ethan Smith. Thank you, Professor Stockstad. We're almost always less or more competent than we believe ourselves to be. M. Scott Peck. How many people in this room are between the age of 17 to 35? By a show of hands. How many people in this room are between the age of 35 to 65? <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, give it up. <laughs> the reason I asked this question is simple. I wanted to know how a class so diverse, so different in age, ethnicity, what do we have in common? What links us together? There's four factors that links us together that make us believe in ourselves or not believe in ourselves. Today, I'll inform you of what those factors are by talking about your parents, school and society, and last and most importantly, yourselves. So take this journey with me as we make it through time and see why do we believe what we believe about ourselves. Your parents, how wonderful they are. When you're a child, they love you, they hug you, they tell you what you can do, how vivid your imagination is. Then you become a teenager, and they tell you what you can't do, what you shouldn't do, what you think you ought to do isn't right. And they tell you the most important thing for you to do is to get a good, solid education. Go to school, get an education. Takes me to my next point. They ship you off to school to be part of society. Napoleon Hill, an educated man who wrote the book Think and Grow Rich, stated, an educated man or a woman is one who has developed the faculties of their mind that they may acquire anything that they want or its equivalent without violating the rights of others. Anything that you want. But there was another quote that I heard when I was in school, which I didn't know was a quote. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. Anybody ever heard that before? Yeah, me too. Where did I learn that? I learned that in school. And I also learned in school that words have power. Because sometimes in school, kids start to give you bad words, like you're worthless, you're a loser, you're different. How come you're not like everyone else? You, 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 you. But they said sticks and stones could break your bones. They didn't say that word and that power. Fred Glassman, who wrote the quote, Sticks and stones may break your bones, but words will never hurt you. What they left out in the quote was, unless you believe them, then the words can destroy you. So what you believe starts with your parents, who send you to school to be part of society to get an education, and they tell you that the words won't hurt you. What do you tell you? What do you tell you? Every stage of your life that you've been in, what do you tell you? Brendan Bouchard, New York Times bestselling author of the Motivational Manifesto stated that humankind's main motivation is to seek and experience personal freedom. I don't know about you, but the only way I believe I get to seek my personal freedom is what I believe I can do. Not what my parents said, not what school or society said, it's what I say, it's what you say, it's what we say, who defines who we are and what we become. Most individuals in America, the reason people believe in themselves or not believe in themselves is because what someone else says. It's because what someone else says. So that's the reason why some people succeed and some don't. Some people still listen to their parents. Some people still listen to school and society, but we never listen to ourselves. Dr. Henry Cloud and Dr. John Towson, who wrote the book Boundary States. The point is your feelings or what you believe 
is your responsibility and you must own them and see them as your problem. What you believe, what I believe, what we all believe, we must own it. Then you can be find, begin to find the answers to whatever issues they're pointing you to. When you see you for you, for the dreamer that you are, the imagination that you have. When you believe you for you, for the weight that you can lose, for the weight that you can gain, for being successful without a college degree, because you have a dream, you have a thought. When you see you for you, and you believe in you, that's when you'll get to the best version of you. So we've covered your parents, school and society, and yourself. I'm here to inform you today, if you stop believing them and you start believing in yourself, you have the best life, best version of your life that you ever dreamed of. It's gonna be hard, but you can do it just like you're doing it right now, but you gotta do it for yourself. Thank you.